Welcome to the camera battle of the year. Ultra vs Ultra, S23 Ultra vs Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the camera specs. We have a 50 megapixel, a one inch type sensor on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. We have a 200 megapixel main sensor on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We have a 48 megapixel tele zoom five times on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. We have a 10 megapixel three times zoom and a 10 megapixel 10 times zoom as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide on the S23 Ultra and a 48 megapixel ultra wide on the 12S Ultra. And then we have on the front uh, facing cameras, we have 12 megapixels on the Samsung and 32 megapixels on the Xiaomi. Let's begin with the front facing videos. This is the front facing video of the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and yes we are starting indoors because outside it's a bit too rainy and gloomy to do the test there but uh, don't worry I will have photos from the outside as well. So what do you think about this stabilization of the colors and in this dim lit kind of situation indoors the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is doing pretty fine but it's only 1080p and only 1080p at 30 frames per second not even 60 frames per second. The S23 Ultra can beat this can it? And now we are using the S23 Ultra's front-facing video and as you can see here we have already 4K resolution and this is not the only thing where the S23 Ultra beats the 12S Ultra on the front-facing video because I also can have autofocus. So here's an apple as you can see it's nice and sharp and yeah this is the possibility that you have with this front facing uh, video which is perfectly fine for vlogging then but as soon as you get a little bit darker you can see it probably here behind me at least I can see it on the viewfinder it's grainy so I'm not sure what Samsung is doing here they have autofocus definitely and they can definitely record 4k 30 and 4k 60 on the front which is pretty pretty good but the sensor seems to be so small that as soon as you get a little bit dim lit situation you have a lot of grain there you will also notice that in the photos as well but let's check out the back facing videos so this is now recording with the main cameras on the 12S Ultra. There's the main cam here, the one inch type sensor. You get a nice background blur and you can maybe notice that I used this camera uh, once or twice already for some of the videos, especially if I'm facing towards the window light, the natural light coming in. It's perfectly uh, working perfectly fine and you get a nice background blur here. And even if I walk a little bit around, you can see stabilization is quite solid. And dim lit situation, I think HDR is handling as well. And uh, what we want to do is trying some zoom operations uh, now because we has also have the zoom. So you can see some smartphones there. And I think we should try to zoom on some Xiaomi smartphones that we see there. So let's go in, have a zoom slider here, you can zoom in. I think it switches at four times roughly, five times. Now it's switched lenses there. You can see the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And in the back, maybe you can see lurking. This 15 times now you can see lurking. It has to do, has to fight with the reflections a bit. Maybe this is better. Now 10 times zoom. Uh, the Mi 9T, you can see maybe lurking there in the background. So this is the zoom. Now let's zoom out and go to the ultra wide angle. And now we have the ultra wide angle and the ultra wide angle is especially useful for vlogging as you can get lots and lots of people inside. And also the stabilization is working fine. I'm recording 4K 30 so you can see I can switch between all lenses seamlessly in 4K 30, no issues at all there, which is pretty, pretty awesome, I would say. I don't think we have the possibility to switch all lenses in 4K 60, so this is something that only the S23 Ultra can do. Otherwise, if I'm wrong, I will write down, I'm wrong, or big letters here that I'm wrong, but I think I'm not wrong there. So what do you think about the video quality here on the Xiaomi 12S Ultra? And now I'm recording with the Galaxy S23 Ultra and its main camera lenses on the back. The main lens right now, the 200 megapixel one, that is a bit smaller, 1 over 1.3 inch, which is still great, I would say, and above average, because like 1 over 1.5, 1 over 1.7 is still the standard right now. So it's a bit 
better than this but you don't get as creamy of a bokeh and I think we have a little bit more punchy colors here on the S23 Ultra and if I move a bit around we can see how good is HDR and stabilization I think it's fantastic especially the stabilization HDR I think on par with the Xiaomi 12s Ultra I don't see much of a difference there and we want to perform a zoom test as well though I don't have other Galaxy phones there. I think there's one Galaxy phone, some Samsung Galaxy phone there lurking somewhere in the background. But let's try to zoom in on the Xiaomi phones again to make it fair and square. We don't have a zoom slider here. We have zoom buttons, so I can go directly three times zoom and I can jump to the 10 times zoom lens, which looks like this. And yes, it also has to fight with the reflections. Let's uh, there, it's better. It is grainier, definitely, the zoom lens than on the can also zoom up to 20 times um, rainier definitely than the Travis ultra so yeah what do you think in terms of uh, detail levels and so on let me also tap to focus here maybe can improve the focus a bit uh, i don't think so so yeah this is 10 times zoom what do you think about this one and we can also go to the 0.6 times which is like the ultra wide angle so now we have the ultra wide angle on the s23 ultra what do you think about this one here it's also very very wide and like it and uh, how, is, how about stabilization colors uh, noise level eventually in this dimlet kind of situation uh, what do you think about the s23 ultra uh, in this uh, situation do you see my left hand holding the phone or not how wide is it so what do you think about this one here so let's do a quick video analysis and we start with the front-facing video and I don't have to even play back the video. You can see immediately the difference. The S23 Ultra much better video on the front just because not be only because it's 4K but also because it's not so contrasty. We have much higher contrast on the Travis Ultra for some reason and I like the less contrasty look on the S23 Ultra. If we go a bit forward what we can clearly see is that here the S23 Ultra struggles a bit with noise I would say. This is the Xiaomi Travis Ultra. You can see it's a bit soft here around my face and it's not sharpened up so much so the smallerish kind of sensor that we have here is struggling a bit even though it has autofocus it is a bit uh, less sharp than the a little bit more sharpened up 12s ultra though we have a difference of course in resolution though the sharpness on the 12s ultra is artificially uh, sharpened up a bit and when it comes to noise levels especially in this situation here uh, in the background we can see if i play back you can see there is a bit of noise going on when i walk towards the window we have definitely a very good uh, resolution here and here when i walk towards the window you can also see that uh, it is better clearly as long as you have more light it is just simply better the s23 ultra's front facing video is just miles ahead when it comes to the back facing video we have a bit of a different situation we can clearly see that both are looking very very similar so we don't have this uh, contrasty kind of look on the s23 ultra and we don't have, um, yeah, as you can see here, very, very similar. What about bokeh, some people might ask. So let's check the bokeh here. This is the S23 Ultra. This is the background blur that you can get. Now the 12S Ultra, you can see, yes, there is more bokeh on the 12S Ultra. And what we can clearly see also is not that the bokeh is clearly creamier on the Travis Ultra it's also that we have a bit of noise I think going on on the show on the uh, Galaxy S23 Ultra already here in the background bokeh uh, take a look at my face nice and sharp I would say no issues with autofocus colors are nice and here I think as well a bit smoothened up I would say the face eventually and a bit more towards greenish kind of look here on the 12s ultra nevertheless i like them both uh, however when you play back the video and we go to the back facing situation here on the 12s ultra if i play it back you can see it's now out of focus my face is not in focus it's focusing on the back uh, hdr it's overblown there a bit here a bit artificial i'm not sure what what's wrong with the greens there it, it struggles with the hdr here in this situation now it's catching my face again and i'm sharp again and uh, yeah i think it's okay you don't notice so much noise there's a bit of noise going on sharpness is good and uh, no issues there at all let's compare with the 12s ultra 
when we have the back uh, situation here you can clearly see if I pause it here it is completely overblown the back but it keeps my face nice and in focus so yeah that's I think more desirable um, it is brighter in general a bit motion blur there as well but it's brighter in general here on the back it might be due to uh, lower shutter speed as well this is why you get a bit more blow motion blur but in general I think it is okay nice and sharp and now let's go to the zoom test and let's compare the zoom test with each other and what we can clearly see is that uh, when we have the zoom test here that there is a difference of course with colors so we have a bit more bluish kind of colors here on the S23 Ultra a bit more warmish kind of color tone on the 12S Ultra and when we zoom in um, this is three times now against roughly three times here of course this is a digital zoom this is a non-digital zoom and uh, yeah this is 10 times now here and uh, it's nice and sharp immediately and I changed the position quite quickly here but we can see a lot of noise here already creeping in where I'm at 15 times zoom it's using the three and a half times zoom and there is a let's wait for me to make it there we go and now let's compare those two images so here we have the galaxy s23 ultras 10 times zoom look how grainy this is also i think it is not 100 percent sharp and it's 10 times and now look at xiaomi 12s ultras 10 times zoom i think it's a bit sharper it's also a bit grainy but way less grainy than here it's much more grainy here than here just because we have a larger sensor that the S12 Ultra is using so at, for 10 times zoom I would even give it to the 12S Ultra to be completely honest because the detail level is like almost no difference there and uh, the only thing that you can see is that the noise is much better handled on the 12S Ultra so this is for the zoom let's go and play this back the color differences are negligible I would say and uh, yeah we're at the ultra wide here let's go a bit further we will go to the ultra wide there as well in a second I think hopefully yeah that's the ultra wide angle and uh, let's see the ultra wide angle I think the ultra wide angle is a bit wider quite a bit wider on the Travis Ultra as you can see here also again I think white balance is a bit better on the Travis Ultra because yeah the wall is white and the light is coming from there and here it's my face is a bit more yellowish and the walls are a bit more yellowish they have like a bit of a tint here and color noise going on already and uh, yeah I think the Travis Ultra's ultra wide angle is a bit better here in video mode as well in terms of stabilization and so on I didn't notice much of a difference here uh, but you notice also that for some reason the Samsung is painting my shirt black even though it's dark blue and uh, you can see here the bluish kind of hues on the Travis Ultra which uh, yeah it's a bit dark here because of the shadows but uh, as it's brightened up a bit more it is clearly more bluish and more realistic than the 12s ultra so this is my video analysis what do you think we start off this comparison with the front-facing cameras and we can clearly see already yeah the s23 ultra is winning here because the colors got it got right and also the sharpness it got right when we zoom in you can clearly see the 32 megapixels are on the paper only on the Travis ultra but it's not adding to sharpness this is something where the s23 ultra is winning here with its autofocus uh, when it goes uh, to uh, close-up shots we have a difference in bokeh we can clearly see here that the uh, s12 uh, s ultra is focusing on the back and the foreground is already blurry where here we have the back and the foreground a bit uh, sharper here and this is a difference also uh, in terms of colors these are both like punchy kind of colors you can see that the like a vivid mode on the travis ultra especially look at the cars and the reds here is less vivid than the s23 ultra's default mode where the reds are a little bit overdone here already and when i go to the like authentic mode we have more realistic much more realistic colors much smoother not so over sharpened look on the Travis Ultra and this is what I kept on the Travis Ultra because I like this look a bit better and on the S23 Ultra I kept the standard the default one
on. When it comes to portrait shots, this is a big difference here where we can see the 12S Ultra is using, utilizing its two times crop on the main sensor and the S23 Ultra is using its dedicated three times zoom lens. On first glance, it looks like better colors on the 12S Ultra, which is clearly the case. We have a bit of more background blur and it's looking a bit blurrier, where it's less blurry on the S23 Ultra. Uh, but when it comes to sharpness, we can clearly see that the, it's a crop on the 12S Ultra and the Galaxy S23 Ultra is beating it in portrait shots for sure, even though the colors uh, is just too dark for me. Close-up shots against close-up shots here um, of my mouse pad with Linux Tux Penguin. Uh, we can clearly see more details on the S23 Ultra. It might take those details from over sharp and you can look at the yellow dots here, which as you can see maybe some there on the 12S Ultra. But in general, yes, the ultra wide angle and the macro shots on the S23 Ultra looks more spectacular. The S23 Ultra can also fail in certain things. I showed it to you in our YouTube shorts as well, that it has issues with close focusing with the main lens. And in this case, it's just switched to the ultra wide angle and macro mode. And this is what you get. You can see like this aliasing going on here on the Travis Ultra, it capped the main lens which is much superior, you get a nice bokeh roll off and so on. Here's everything over sharpened and not looking very nicely on the S23 Ultra. Uh, this shot here with the main lens, what we can clearly see is that we have a um, brighter picture on the S23 Ultra and we have a bit of a darker picture on the 12S Ultra. This one also, by the way, I uh, let people vote on, U on uh, Twitter actually to tell me which one is the better. People liked the more sharpness on the S23 Ultra here. Uh, but I'm not sure if they zoomed in because I personally have to say, yes, it appears to be sharper, a bit brighter as well and more punchy for sure, but it wasn't like that at all. So the more realistic picture is the Travis Ultra. And if I zoom in, we can clearly see what's going on here. It's a night day difference in terms of sharpness because the S23 Ultra is doing over sharpening and so much over sharpening that it looks artificial. And the Travis Ultra is keeping it real, keeping it real as on a DSLM, DSLR kind of uh, yeah, sharpness and much, much better. Look at those uh, trees, look at everything that's like over sharp and it has like a white line around it, which looks like typically taken from a smartphone and a Travis Ultra keeps it real and nice and balanced. Which one do you like better? And then another phone, another phone, another shot, which I also voted, let people vote on Twitter. And here it was clear that the Travis Ultra has the more realistic, more um, realistic colors and uh, looks a bit better. Yes, the S24 Ultra, for some reason, it wasn't that warm. It's it's just warming everything up here where the Travis Ultra keeps the colors real and yeah this is the real colors and it looks more yummy I think on the Travis Ultra for sure look at the onion here which has like kind of a yellow kind of tint that we don't see so much here so yes maybe a bit sharper here uh, this is just simply sharper there and here a bit softer so the focus point was a bit different but yeah the Travis Ultra wins here and uh, both can fail also when it, you get to closer shots. Or oh, I'm not sure if they failed, but both switched to the ultra wide angle for this kind of shot. And here's the result on the Travis Ultra. We can see, I think it's grain and noise plus sharpening algorithms. And on the Travis Ultra, it's just simply noisy and less sharp because it couldn't find the sharpness here. So both not very well with this. And when it comes to selfies in the dark here, low light situation, selfie, the colors on the S24 Ultra are more realistic. My shirt is blue, not black. Um, a bit of exposure on my face here on the Travis Ultra. I think the S23 Ultra wins here again, though in terms of sharpness, I think there's not much of a difference. So the, the, the advantage that the S23 Ultra, Ultra had in, in the front facing uh, camera in daylight shots, it doesn't have so much in night shots because it's getting very blurry and um, yeah, noisy. Uh, then some kind of zoom, zoom shots, we can see clearly punchy kind of uh, colors, uh, warmer kind of colors on S23 Ultra and the Travis Ultra is keeping it you know, white balance more cooler here. Uh, both two times, two times is a new option in the Travis Ultra that we got from the 13 Pro. And what we can clearly see here is we have like a more natural kind of photo. It appears to be more sharp on the S23 Ultra, but look at this side here and look at here. It's either noisy or noisy and it's adding some sharpness that is like uh, sharpening up the noise. Where on the 12S Ultra it's looking smooth. The one inch sensor is doing its thing even though it's just cropping in and it's winning in this case. 
And the same goes for here. This is now uh, three times a native zoom on the S23 Ultra. Or you could think uh, the S23 Ultra should win this one. Uh, we can see still the color balance. It's still yellow on the S23 Ultra, much cooler on the Traverse Ultra. When I zoom in, what we can clearly see is again, it looks to be sharper. You can see much more details there as well. That's for sure because it is using the three times zoom. But it's also like some artificial sharpening going on that you don't have so much on the Traverse Ultra. When we look at the details here, the it is sharper on the S23 Ultra for sure. We have much more softer, smoother kind of look, less noise for sure. And then S23 Ultra, we have much more noise that is sharpened up as well, which is like, uh, yeah, choose your poison, I would say. Uh, yes, the S23 Ultra is sharper. Uh, the 12 Ultra looks more pleasant in my opinion uh this is wrong this one and this one five times zoom which is a native zoom on the traverse ultra this is a clear win for the traverse ultra even though you can see yeah it's also also doing some sharpening it looks a bit artificial but it's not looking much better on the s23 ultra yes more details there for sure uh on the 20 uh, s23 ultra because it's like sharpening things up so this heart for example gets much more details than on here but it's just simply the overall picture it's it's, it's it's so grainy on the, on the S23 Ultra. It's so smooth on the Traverse Ultra. So I, I'm not sure which one I like better, I have to say. Though I th have to say that the, the S23 Ultra now, when you zoom in at, at, at five times, it's like, I think, changing a little bit the white balance or the Traverse Ultra changed the white balance a lot. Uh, actually, not so much. No, here, a little bit warmer. And uh, here, uh, a bit cooler, a bit warmer. And this is cooler, this is definitely cooler. So for some reason here, this is the three times native and this is the five times. Um, a lot, yeah, cooler here. Uh, now let's go to, not this one, to the 10 time shot. 10 time shot, we can clearly see, yeah, more details on the S23 Ultra, more noisy as well, more smooth on the 12 Ultra because it's not doing so much. And uh, still, I would say in this case, yeah, the S23 Ultra has a bit better zoom lens though. Less noise on the Traverse Ultra. I like it better, actually, <laughs> to be completely honest. And then we come to the ultra wide angle. Yes, uh, shout out to uh, smartphoneblogger.de, which is also a nice uh, YouTube uh, creator and also has a nice website. So just uh, subscribe to him as well. Um, so I was chilling and watching some YouTube. What we can clearly see here is uh, with the Traverse Ultra using the Leica Authentic mode, we have a bit of darker exposure, especially here that you can see with the uh, plants here, a lot darker, but it's brightened up on the S23 Ultra and a lot more noisier than on the Traverse Ultra. When we come to take a look at here, for example, we can also clearly see that it is brightened, brightened up on the S23 Ultra. Uh, it is a bit more punchy maybe here. I don't see much of a difference, I have to say. And when we go to the extreme sides here, we can clearly see, yes, a slightly different kind of uh, angle of view, uh, but much noisier on the S23 Ultra where the Traverse Ultra keeps it real and keeps it smooth. And uh, if we go in here, we can also clearly see it. It's almost no noise on the Traverse Ultra where we have, oops, <laughs> we have lots and lots of noise on the uh, S23 Ultra. So overall, I think the ultra wide angle, even though the white balance here might be a little bit uh, cooler, warmer, cooler, warmer, I think I give this to the Traverse Ultra because it's just let, less noisy. And in terms of detail levels and so on, I don't see much of a difference uh, at all. So it's just a personal preference here to keep uh, the less noisy image and uh, more realistic colors, I would say, on the Traverse Ultra. Just look at the floor here which is, I think, a bit too punchy on the S23 Ultra and less punchy. And also here, you can see the noise difference. And I think you can also see, uh, it's it's hard to tell. I, I think the, the colors are a bit more realistic on the Traverse Ultra. Then I switched the Traverse Ultra to the Vibrant mode. And here we have Vibrant mode against the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We can clearly see again that the S23 Ultra is even more vibrant than the Vibrant mode on the Traverse Ultra. This photo I took because someone was asking me about the bokeh and the bokeh difference. Do we see a difference here? One inch sensor on the Traverse Ultra versus S23 Ultra has a one over 1.3 inch, but also a larger aperture. And we can clearly see the difference here. You can clearly see the difference. You just look at this and this. It's just more blurrier. The bokeh is much more pleasant on the Traverse Ultra. Uh, sharpness, um, much noisier again on the S23 Ultra. Sharpness is okay, I would say. It's, I think focusing here instead of there. 
uh, might explain why it's not so much out of bokeh, but it's just a it's a huge difference in terms of bokeh and the more pleasant bokeh you get with the Travis Ultra and the one inch size uh, sized uh, sensor and also here less noise, less sharpening or whatever this is, this algorithm that is keeping the noise here on the S23 Ultra. When we come to this kind of shot, this is a close-up shot of the main lens now. Uh, we can also clearly see more bokeh here on the Traverse Ultra, less bokeh on the S23 Ultra. The S23 Ultra is doing its sharpening or has a bit more noise. In any way, we have a little bit more artifacts here. Um, in terms of sharpness, it is a bit noisier, but also a bit more detailed here on the face, especially of this little soldier. This is, by the way, also the Traverse Ultra with the um, like a vibrant mode, but you can also clearly see the bokeh fall off here much much better on the Travis Ultra where on the LS23 Ultra we have much more noise and much sharper and then the last picture we can also clearly see it again much sharpened up on the S23 Ultra much cooler kind of look, much warmer look on the Travis Ultra but the Travis Ultra has like this uh, smooth fall off here of sharpness where on the S23 Ultra we see a lot of noise and we see like a bit of sharpening going on less smoother fall off. Overall I would give the win to the 12S Ultra because of the better main camera and the better ultra wide angle. I think the S23 Ultra has the better selfie cam and the zoom cam especially the 10 times zoom is better in daylight especially in nighttime. I think there's not much of a difference because it's just cropping into the main sensor. So overall my personal preference is going to the 12S Ultra. Which one do you like better? That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.